This is papers that I've copied. <coughs> I had some butterflies that Christine Adams gave me, and um, my grandson copied these for me. He put them in the in the scanner and scan them out. And I'll be fuss. I'll fussy cut these out to where I can put them on pages. These are where I. Oh, uh, and my fabric, my, my denim fabric, and I uh, copied them out to do some paper collaging on them. Yeah. This is some birds that I, I got off to the internet, but I can't sell them. I have to, oh, uh, Use them for my own personal use. <clears throat> That's the burlap, copied burlap. And he copied me some bugs out. Cause I like to accent things sometimes with a bug. Sometimes you just need a little red or a little yaller. Maybe a little green something just to bring something out in your page or on your pocket or on your tag. And there's a few flowers to copy that. This was a piece of, of um, vintage fabric, but I got him to copy out four of these because I want to. Uh, Fussy cut around some of these flowers and some of the leaves and uh, use them for accents on some of my pages. And you can use them, could use the whole thing for a signature page. That's the denim. And these little birds. He copied uh, more than one out for me, so I can fussy cut them. Cause they're pretty separated and put on pages. This is some stamps, old vintage stamps that we had, and we're gonna cut these out with pinky shears. The pinky shears will make them look like. Uh, old vintage tag of stamps. This was the one that I uh, put uh, lace down and just throwed up. It was pink lace and then I just throwed up this copy paper over it. This is some animals he copied out for me to accent my pages. This is the one of mine that I put the white lace down and then I put a blue piece of fabric over it and then I scanned it. This was some vintage, vintage fabric. I just threw it in the scanner and copied them out. Same with these. And the same with these. This was some cards. No, this was some old black and white photographs that was in a book. And then this I got off the internet. It was a uh, free printable. I got a uh, quite a bit of the good old black and white uh, photographs from a book that I got in the book was just about just about wore out. This was from the book. This was from the book. 
That's where the knights knew them was clean, I guess. This is an old cotton mill. No, I don't know what this is. I don't have my glasses on because I can't, I can't read when I don't have my glasses on. This is a field of some kind. But anyway, it's photographs in an old book. This is copied from uh, old greeting cards. It's just to show you that you can make you some paper if you can't afford to uh, buy papers or uh, get you some digitals off of. Now, uh, Gail Costanelli and Tracy Fox and um, uh, a lot of those um, journal artist has uh, different kind of papers and trims and all on the Etsy store and they're not uh, they're not expensive at all if you want to go and go to the Etsy store and just check them out you might want to get you some digital digital prints. This is a blue jean pocket. I plan on taking the blue jean pocket and making pockets out of it. This is where I throw the uh, old boats and nuts and things. I didn't throw them in the scanner, but I put them in the scanner. And we copied them out. There's different kinds. This is, I folded, folded and made little fans out of paper accordion fold. Made some little fans and laid three down and copied them and made some paper. This is where I used the safety pins, made some paper. This was from the book. I thought the memo would be nice to accent a page with. I've been Kool Aid dying yesterday. That's for yesterday I coffee died. Yesterday I Kool Aid died. This one is the berry. Oh. Blackberry, I think it was. Then the, I got purple from uh, from gray. I got pink from uh, raspberry. I got blue from uh, black black raspberry. So you can get different colors from different Kool-Aids. You can also use uh, food color to dye your paper. So if you want to dye some paper, it's cheaper than uh, buying it dyed. You want lots of uh, People who buy it already die, but I like to dye mine because I love to see what colors come out with what Kool Aid. I don't iron mine and I don't put them in the oven, I let them dry on their own, and when they dry, they just come apart, just like this. You know, 
don't try to bring them, don't try to get them apart before they dry. You can tear them. But once they dry, they're easy to take apart. You can't get them on one side, you can get them on the other. Some of my um, coffee dye paper come out with some, uh, some of them with white right in the center. So I use them for collaging. I have plenty. Oh God, I think I, I had a hundred and something of the, uh, of the coffee. And I don't know how many I had of the Kool-Aid. Not more than a hundred because I have different colors. And I wanted to get, and I have some that hadn't got dry yet. So I can't take them apart. Gotta wait till they get dry. I'm testing my laptop to see how long it'll record because it's been freezing up. And I just got it out of the shop. And uh, so I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. I've been making tags oh tags pockets little booklets and inserts to put in the these are pockets there's just pages from a book and then I I uh, just put some uh, photo mat paper on them and made my pockets. So when I get ready to put them in the journal, I'll decorate them because I don't know what, I'll, what page I'll be using them with. And if you decorate them before you put them on, uh, before you know what page you're going to put them on and what colors you're going to need. You could, uh, you might have to just make you some more. So I just put some papers on there. That's a pocket. See, I can use that for most any color, with most any color, by putting some uh, fabric and layering it with fabric and lace and uh, maybe a bird or a butterfly or uh, something, maybe a photograph. And then I made some little folder in inserts. I put paper in here. I have a, well, on some of them, yeah. See, I've got a, a pocket on this side. And a pocket on this side, pocket on this side. And then you put papers in here. You, you lay your papers in there. Then you can sew them in with, with the sewing machine. If you sew paper for your sewing machine, if it's a uh, like three or four pages, I know I got some that's already that I've already like these. See, this has got uh. One, two, three, four. It's got four doubles. And then just I just sewed it right down the center. But uh, <clears throat> you put your stitches, 
yeah. on such a sewing machine on a long stitch when you're sewing in with paper or thin cardboard. I wouldn't advise you to sew a uh, chipboard. You can try it. Your sewing machine might do more than mine. I just don't want to take a chance of putting too much in my sewing machine. Oh yeah, and I made some uh, I don't know what, what you call these matchbook uh, inserts, I guess. But I saw uh, Gail Roscanelli make these. And she, uh, I can't remember what she used uh, for closing hers. Seemed like it was just a, seemed like it was a circle. You can use a button or a cardboard circle or anything to hold it. But what I did was I cut me a piece of cardboard uh, from a cracker box. Then I glued my trim on it. Then I glued my uh, my ribbon on it. Then I cut it the size I wanted. And then I just glued each end just enough to hold it. And then I took it to the sewing machine and I sewed around it so I could catch this end and this end so it would hold better because uh, this is going to give it would be a little bit of pressure against it with your uh, flap. And you're pulling it out. Inside, you can journal in it. You can slide a, a pad of sticky notes or cut you, cut you some paper out and make you a pad put in there. Or a photograph, whatever you want in it. So I didn't make, I didn't make the three of them, but I'm going to make some more because they were, they were really nice to stick inside your journal. Or you can put anything you want to in them. Then I made some tags. I see this was a uh, this was something new to me. I took a sheet of paper. And I folded it to where I would have this much left. And then I cut this out and I made my, I made, made where I'd have pockets here. And then I made me some little notepads and sewed them in here. And here. So I've got a triple envelope with a note with a double notepad. And then this is one of my uh, wireless paper clips. So I just put it on to, uh, to close it. Let's see what else we got in here. And that's another one of the little uh, folders that I made. And tags. I made some of my tags in the, um, the dress. Uh, I don't know what you call this. But anyway, uh, it looks like a, a dress. And I cut it out and put some uh, journaling paper on the back of it. 
designer paper on the front, and then I put you know, a piece of brown paper, and a little uh, flower, a little bird. And made me a little hole there so I could put a ribbon at the top. And that, that's a tag. That's a journaling card. That's a journaling card. That's a journaling card. That's another one. I got some tags that I haven't finished. These tags I haven't put any uh, focal point or accent on. I just covered them with designer paper or either uh, collage. This is collage. This is just a piece of paper that I had some pretty flowers on. So these are collaged. That one's collaged with a piece of magazine uh, page. This was a, a bandana. Remember the old bandana? Some of them were red and some of them were blue. This one happened to be white. And that's the dress, dress form tags. And then the regular, regular tags. Then I got more journaling cards and then I made uh, a couple of a couple of cabinets and I didn't put nothing up here because I didn't know what pocket I was going to put them in. I make them like this and then when I start to put them in the pocket, whatever uh, colors I got in the pocket, I try to match it with a uh, paper or fabric up at the top. And then I got me some, I made me some of those glass, glass thing oh, bags. Got me a little envelope that's got oh, flower uh, stamps in. They're not stamps, they're faux stamps. They, uh, I cut them out with, out of the book with uh, uh, pink and shoe to make them look like postage stamps. I got some that's eh, it's about as big as a postage stamp and then I got some bigger ones. That one's even bigger. Never know what you're gonna use, what you do, what you need when you're going through the magazine. Uh, any kind of image you come across, you can cut it out and put it where you can use it later on. Now the new, oh, this, this is one of the, or two of the junk uh, envelopes that uh, I put together. I put them together at the uh, flaps to where they would open. Well, they would open and close. And then I put my journaling cards inside and I put where you could see uh, something pretty on the outside. This is a journaling card. And that's another one. I didn't have nothing big enough to go all the way up off. But um, I've probably come across an image that will fit in there. 
then you can open it up and you can put pockets on the inside. But after you put you some, probably, probably put some designer papers here. Could even put a belly band there, or a pocket, or whatever you want there. I got a new, new page. This page is, it's four sheets. It's four sheets. I put the two sheets back to back, and then I put one of the sheets on this side, and I put the corner. No, I made the square. I uh, folded it and squared up my paper, and then cut down where I have a square. And I put one square on this side, one square on this side. And I put the corners here and here, and here and here. And I sewed up that way. I sewed this away. Now when you put it in your signature, you're going to sew this in your signature. And you'll have that uh, tied down. You want to put a little bit of glue right here. A little bit of glue right here. Y'all have a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. And same on these sides. And this one, I've never had, I've never done like this one like this. But I saw a gal that I was make one. And that's where I got the inspiration to do that. I made me some glassine bags. I used baking paper and I just folded it, cut it, and made me some little bags. So I got some little birds and bugs and butterflies and watches and different things in them where I can use them in my journal. I think that's about all the news that I've got. And, um, uh, oh, I'll be, um, I'll be getting back with you and we'll be doing some more things. Now that I've got my laptop, just pray with me that my laptop just keeps working. Because, uh, I was. I was where I could be uh, doing a video and the mouse would just freeze up. So I'm uh, praying that it's fixed because I've been playing with it for a while now and it hadn't froze. So just pray for my laptop and pray for my voice. And God bless you all and I'll see you next time.